Hey YouTubers and welcome back to Tony the Technician channel and today we're going to be going into something that can be a pain for a lot of people uh, that like to wash their cars. Maybe you're like me and you have bad knees, uh, maybe you have a bad back, anything like that, uh, but you haven't given up so much to where you don't want to wash your own car. Uh, and one of the things that you run into when washing your car is dealing with your wash buckets. Now this stool that I have here is absolutely amazing. This is from Mycanic and I've done a review on it. And it's literally a stool that's got a seat, an area to put chemicals and uh, tools along here and uh, a spray can or anything like that. And then you got a wash bucket that is on the back and it has a dirt trap in the bottom. Absolutely amazing. Uh, and this is what I use for cleaning wheels because I can sit just like this. I can have all my wheel brushes and sponges and everything in here, grab it and just work on the wheels. Great. I don't have to carry this around. But one thing that you might deal with a lot when washing your own car is you got a full five gallon bucket that's full of water and soap. Uh, and you constantly have to go back, pick up the bucket, take it to where you're washing, or you got to walk all the way back around to your wash and rinse bucket uh, and deal with it that way. So it can be kind of a pain if you're constantly lifting the buckets up and carrying it around and all that. Uh, plus you take the chance of, you know, splashing water all over yourself. Uh, but it can just be a pain. So this thing has been absolutely amazing for me. Uh, I love it, but this, I use the three bucket method. There's the two bucket method where you have a dedicated wash bucket and a dedicated rinse bucket. So after you get done washing your vehicle down, you can come back, put your rag in your rinse bucket, rinse out all that dirt and grime, then re-soak it in your wash bucket and go back to washing your car so you don't, you know, scratch your vehicle with any debris that might still be on your microfiber uh, mitt or anything like that. This is an old cheap little bucket that I picked up from Walmart a while back. And it is actually by a company called Auto Drive. And I didn't even realize this, but this is an extremely cheap wash bucket. It doesn't have a dirt trap in the bottom. It says dirt trap in the bottom and it's got some ridges, but really your dirt's still floating around in the bucket. Whereas something like this, a lot of companies make similar designs. Uh, it's actually a removable dirt trap. This one's got like cyclones, I guess they call it. Uh, and you keep it in the bottom of your bucket. This way the dirt goes down into the cyclones and actually go underneath where the dirt trap is and doesn't come back up into your uh, soapy water. Well, besides that, this cart, yes, it's great. If you guys are interested, it's linked down in the description for you guys, as well as everything else that I talk about uh, and suggest. So like I was saying, this cheap wash bucket is a company called Auto Drive. Well, when I bought it, it was probably the only Auto Drive thing that I remember seeing at Walmart at the time. And lately, I've been going to a few different Walmarts and I've actually come across more of their products uh, that are actually really nice. And besides this, they do have things like this. And they are uh, bucket trolleys or dollies, whatever you want to call it. Um, and if you look these up on Amazon or anything, they're around $30 to $60. You can get them in plastic or metal. I like the plastic a little bit more. This is heavy, durable plastic. Uh, it's not cheap or anything as far as, you know, uh, structure or anything like that. It's very thick. Uh, the casters are actually really nice on it. They have little butterfly bolts here or wing nut bolts that you can tighten in to hold your bucket in here. Uh, not absolutely necessary, but it is nice to have. Uh, and then each one, this is two separate individual ones that I actually zip tied using this portion right here. So my buckets stay together at all times. You could, you know, uh, drill it out, put a nut and bolt in there if you wanted to, but this holds up just fine. It actually has really nice rubberized uh, casters. 
and they do have locks on two of them on each so it's not rolling when you don't want it to uh, and once again it's by the same company auto drive it's called a car wash bucket trolley and i had never seen these at walmart before um, but i had been looking at them on amazon and other places and they're expensive i didn't want to spend 30 to 60 dollars on one of these especially when i need two of them that's 60 to 120 dollars if you got two so that's why i'd always put it off well when i came across it in walmart these things sell for 15 dollars. i haven't seen them this cheap anywhere else and i was afraid when i first saw the price that they were going to be you know really low quality and not be worth it but they're actually very thick uh very nice nice casters two inch casters uh and they've worked really well so in future videos you'll see these guys in use you know obviously it'll just be rolling around a wash bucket but uh the casters are actually really nice to where they're not going to get caught on every single pebble but it's most importantly it's going to save you from having to pick up your heavy five gallon bucket or anything like that so it's really nice that i can throw both my buckets together just like this and roll them around with me super easy don't got to pick them up during the wash or anything i just pull them along with me wash and rinse as i go really really nice to have so if you're looking at saving your knees or your back or anything like that and not have to carry this these things around i think uh, the auto drive is a really affordable good way to go uh, like i said the other ones i just thought 30 to 60 dollars for a little bucket dolly is ridiculous if you ask me um, so when i saw the quality and i saw the price i picked up both of them i was i didn't want to pass up the chance that i wasn't going to see them again so this is what i got i'll try and find these online for 15 if not there will be a similar one i'll try and find as cheap as possible but your best bet might just be checking out your local walmart or ordering it through walmart.com who knows but check the description just in case i did find a good uh set but that's really it. I just wanted to mention it because when it comes to washing cars, that can be one of the biggest pains is just carrying those buckets around. So I'm just gonna bring these up closer to you so you can get a better look at them. Uh, I'll take the buckets out so you can get a better look. And I really hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys did enjoy this video or find it helpful, please make sure to hit that thumbs up. Leave a comment down below of your thoughts or what you spent on these dollies if you purchased these uh, things before not these specific ones but maybe you found a set that you like did you think the the price was reasonable but other than that if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and stay tuned for future videos as soon as the weather gets nicer out we will be doing a lot of detailing i'll show you a lot of tips and tricks that i know uh, and i really hope you guys find it informative but let's take a closer look now so here are the casters like i said they're actually really good quality for paying 15 dollars each here's where i have it zip tied in the center Here's the locks for your buckets, if that's what you want to call it. Uh, they do have drain holes in the bottom that helps drain water and prevents your bucket from being suctioned to the bottom of this thing uh, when you're trying to get it out. And I did put a little Sharpie mark on this and this just so I know which casters actually have the lock on them. But as you can tell, the, the plastic is actually really thick. It's durable and uh really well made so overall i think this was a really good purchase uh, i'm really happy with it but once again let me know your guys thoughts so this will be linked down in the description if i can find it or something similar and also check out the mechanic stool absolutely amazing a little bit more spendy but it's overall uh more handy in a lot of different situations so thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next one